Hi everybody, Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're going to look at springing. We're going to call it springing with awareness. So a lot of times when we do joint mobs, if our goal is to stretch that joint, we need to get to end range. A lot of times in the clinic, I'll see people grab a shoulder and they just move it back and forth, and they don't, they're not hitting that end range to see what the real spring is like. An example would be if you had a table, a table like this has some foam, but in the bottom of the foam is a piece of wood. So when I'm doing springing, if, I'm just, if I want to get range of motion, if I'm doing it for pain, I might just do a little not get to end range. But if I truly want to stretch the tissue, I want to get to end range and then stretch it. So think of it this way. So if here's the, the patient and I push on the foam, the foam has a little bit of a give back and forth. And I'm not feeling anything. I'm just feeling that motion. Truly get to end range, I have to take up that slack. Yeah, do I have it? Well, oh, there's the wood. There's the slack. And then I spring it end range, so it's right that little springing process. Again, in the clinic, sometimes I'll just see this. People doing like CPR, so to speak, right? So I want to get in there, take up that slack, know that I have that tissue. Am I on it? Yes. Spring, and then push a little bit more. And again, think of it this way. If I went through here and I just kept pushing, I want to get to that end range, and I want to push a little bit more. A lot of people do this. It's almost like hitting the wall. Right? So if I had the wall and my fist and I want to spring at end range, I would go to the end and then deform it a little bit, as opposed to what people are doing is kind of tapping the wall. Okay? Another example, by, we took a spine, and no matter what I teach, if it's, even if it's a cervical class, I use the pelvis. It's a nice way. It's a little bit more stable and you could feel it. So at some time, take a pelvis or take a, your, a patient or a friend and then go on to the tissue and say, okay, here's the sacrum. I want to spring it. So I take my hand, I put it on the tissue. Let's say that's the tissue. I push down on the tissue until I feel the bone. I feel the bone, then I can do my spring, take up the slack and spring a little bit at end range. And then I want to see what happens when I take this, take it off, see what the re unspring <laughs> come is like. And that's important. That tells you about the person's mobility. So next time you're in the clinic, don't just go back and forth. If your goal is to stretch a tissue, get to end range and spring it at end range. Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.